Hey, what up? Welcome to Cooking in a Van with Nomad Brad. I am your host for this evening, Nomad Brad. And today I will be using this Instant Pot. Let's power it up. Bam, it's alive. I'll be using this Instant Pot. This is the smallest size Instant Pot they make. I think it's eight quarts. I will be cooking this USDA Choice uh, stew meat and I will be using Montreal steak seasoning and I will be using teriyaki sauce from Safeway and I will be cooking potatoes I also have I got a fridge down here I will be cooking carrots BAM and I will be cooking celery and I'm gonna throw everything into this instant pot and I'm gonna cook up a delicious meal that's gonna last for probably four or five days. And I just wanna show you guys something. We ain't playing around. We are out here off grid. I have no cell phone reception, so I am just winging it and I'll post this video later. But check this out, guys. Check out where we're at. We're in Sisters, Oregon up in the wilderness look at this view uh yeah that's what's up got the river right here van right here so i'm going to be spending a few days here just chilling doing some yoga doing some cooking doing some video i got a drone with me so i'm going to be i'm going to be actually flying it up this creek because this creek is cool it like zigzags all the way back through these trees so i'm going to be flying the drone up tomorrow and uh, see if we can get some cool footage. So anyway, just wanted to show you guys where I'm at. And now let's hop back in the kitchen here in the Ford, the 2005 Ford Econoline Gourmet Kitchen. Nothing but the best. That's all we do, nothing but the best. So this is my first cooking video really inside the van. Uh, it's super tight. And I really have no idea. Maybe I can find a better angle for this. Hold on. All right, guys. I don't even know how I did it, but I found a better angle. You are literally like tucked up in the corner of my roof. I don't know. It's working out. So we're going to cook this meat. Okay. USDA choice beef. So the first thing I'm doing is I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to brown it in the Instant Pot. We're recording, fantastic. Hope you can hear me. I don't have the external mic hooked up. Um, so we're just rolling the dice and we're just gonna go with the flow. So I got the meat. What I'm gonna do on the Instant Pot is I'm gonna hit saute, bam. And that's gonna heat up the pot. I'm gonna throw these chunks of meat. They smell good. <laughs> They've been rolling in my fridge for a couple days. And I got the Dometic CRX 50 fridge and it works pretty good. But if you don't put the meat all the way in the back, Sometimes it doesn't stay cold, so, but this smells good. So we're gonna cook it up. We're gonna throw the meat in. We got it on saute. Just chunk it all in here. All right. Got it. Got it. Got it. I feel like uh, like if Gordon Ramsay was like out in the wilderness, like these potatoes are bloody pathetic. What are you doing? Bloody pathetic potatoes. <laughs> okay, so the meat's heating up. I'm gonna throw in this seasoning packet. Keep in mind guys, this is just van style. Like there's no recipe. There's, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. If it's too much seasoning, not enough seasoning, you just eat it, okay? So pour it in the seasoning packet. I got this teriyaki glaze. We're gonna just, we're just gonna give a couple glugs. Glug, 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 glug. Yeah. Okay, that's looking pretty good. So we got that in there. Put the lid back on. Steak seasoning in the trash. In the trash. Okay, cool. So. That's all set. I'm going to use the fork. 
We're gonna kind of mix it up. Should try to show you guys. Ooh, I'm worried. I might not get you back on the perch, but that's okay. It's okay, guys. Okay, see that? See that tasty meat? So I got the sauce in there. I uh, got the peppers in there, the meat. Just kind of stir it up. It takes a minute for the pot to heat up. I'm running off solar, check it out. 12.2 volts. When the Instant Pot turns on, it like sucks all the juice out of the solar system. Uh, but you know, that's just how it goes, guys. It's okay, it's okay. If I have any other devices running, like the laptop being char charged, anything else, I try to turn it off while I'm cooking with, with, uh, with the inverter. Okay, so we're just gonna let that saute for a minute. Just chilling down there. Now I'm gonna prep the veggies. We got, uh, remind you, potatoes, celery, carrots. Okay, I'm gonna put you guys back up, back up on the roof, the roof. Man, I'll tell you what, this Gorilla Pod, this Joby 4K, whatever it's called, Gorilla Pod, thing is awesome. Okay. Yeah, that, yeah, it holds out pretty good. Ooh, we're bubbling, guys. We're bubbling. All right. Get that meat going. While you're watching the meat, try to, if you see any that are pink, try to flip them, because as they cook, they'll turn like uh, like a brown color. So... Try to flip, try to flip uh, anything that's pink, flip it upside down. So we got the meat, we got it browning. It happens pretty quick, guys. Don't sleep on it. Don't sleep on it. This ain't a, this ain't a, this ain't a gas grill. This ain't a Traeger. This Instant Pot, son, it's electricity. This is electricity. People tell you you can't cook with electricity. People tell you you need propane, you need gas. Uh-uh, Instant Pot. It's all you need. It's awesome. Power from the sun, charges the batteries, powers the instant pot, cooks the meats. It's the only way to go. It's the only way. Okay. I'm going to cook, cut the veggies. Oh, oh man. I got a big knife somewhere. Where is my big knife? Fucking steak knife. I can't cut with this. I need a real knife. Come on. Okay, guys, I have a big knife, like a 10 inch knife. I have no idea where it's at, but the meat's boiling. I found this little thing, so we're just gonna roll with it. This is van life. We don't care. We'll, we'll use anything, okay? So we're gonna chop the potatoes. I don't know what you call this. If Gordon Ramsay's watching, uh, please advise me on what this this technique is not sure but we're gonna go with like medium slices and I'm gonna try not to cut my finger because I have no idea where the hospitals at and there's no cell service so I'll be just driving into town bleeding out uh, which doesn't sound like a good idea okay let's check the meats the meats are looking good guys I want to show you, I want to show you so you know, you don't have to cook it all the way because what we're doing is after we saute it, uh, we're going to pressure cook it. So it doesn't have to be cooked all the way through. You're not eating it as it comes out of the pot. So check it out. You can see there's a little bit of pink, but it's mostly brown. Okay, so that's good guys, it's done. So we're gonna go ahead and cancel the saute because, because, because who cares? That's it, it's done. When we put it in the uh, when we put it in the pressure cooker, it'll take care of the rest of it. So I'm gonna give it a swirl, a squirrel swirl. Okay, got it, got it, done. So now on the instant pot, you hit cancel, cancel. That's done. Then if you're using solar, your battery is gonna jump back up. It's a little scary, guys. I know it, but don't worry. It's simple. It's a little scary because your battery will dip down to like 12 volts, sometimes 11, and you're like, oh my God, my battery's gonna die, but it's okay, it's only temporary, it all works out. I just hit cancel, we were at 12.1 volts, we're already back to 12.9, so we're moving on up, it's looking good. Okay, so I got some potato cut, I cut up one potato, I have I bought three potatoes because I wasn't, I wasn't really sure um, how much I would need, man, it's hot in here. 
it's hot as balls in here guys i have a vent going but i'm still i'm sweating balls okay so i cut up one i bought three potatoes i wasn't sure i don't cook a lot you know like i'm only cooking because i i live in a van now so anyway i bought three potatoes looking at it now that was clearly way too much um but i don't think one potato is enough so i'm gonna go with two i have there's two smaller potatoes and then there's like a big one so i'm gonna cut the two smaller ones and i'm gonna throw those i'm cutting them into slices right so like here's a potato slice and then i cut it again so this is the size this is the size of potato slices that i'm using see right here that's the size of my eyeglasses this is the size this is the size of my potatoes okay so that's cut we're done now we're gonna cut this one cut it cut it cut it cut it cut it gotta cut it throw back to ot genesis if any of you guys remember that song from like three years ago cut it cut it i think that dude was a one-hit wonder because i never heard from him again but i did like that song okay so now we're gonna cut this other one cut it cut it man i'll tell you if uh if youtube you know didn't have an issue with royalties i would have that song playing right now so just pretend as i'm cutting this potato pretend in the background you hear ot genesis cut it cut it just pretend just pretend okay guys simple all right potato cut in half again i'm cutting the second one size of my eyeglasses size of my eyeglasses i now I have a pile of potatoes here. You can't see them all, guys, but I trust me, I would not lie to you. I have a pile of potatoes here, okay? So we got the potatoes cut. We cut them. These ones I'm cheating. In the end, I'm cheating. I cut it into a wedge, but don't tell anybody. There's a little weird-looking piece. I'm just throwing it outside because I don't know what else to do with it. Okay, one potato. I'm just going to put this back in the fridge, and I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Maybe it'll last until the next time I cook meat. Uh, so that's it. Instant Pot is simmering. I got the potatoes cut, uh, carrots now. So I got a ton of carrots. I'm gonna just pull off a couple bad boys. And you know what? I'm putting the potatoes in the Instant Pot because there's no more room on my cutting board, guys. It's full, it's full of potatoes, okay? So we're putting the potatoes, potatoes, potatoes in the Instant Pot. I'm worried I might've cut too many potatoes. I probably shouldn't be allowed to cook, guys. I'm not sure about this, okay. So we're putting that in, the potatoes are in. Carrots, I'm gonna do two carrots. Uh, these are organic carrots from Safeway, guys. I'm just gonna rinse them under some water. I bought them at Safeway. Um, I'm working out of a five gallon fresh water tank here, guys. So I'm not gonna like, I'm not gonna go crazy with the washing, okay? I'm just gonna rinse them. And then I'm gonna just kinda like run a, a paper towel over them. And they look, they look pretty clean. And if there's a little dirt on them, I don't care because I live in a van. Okay, guys? So don't don't worry too much. Sorry, Gordon Ramsay. I'm sure you'd be offended. These potatoes are dirty. I can taste the earth on the potatoes. Bloody hell. The potatoes taste like dirt. This is a carrot, not a potato. I don't know what I'm talking about. Okay. Carrots sliced up into the pot. We're just going to do chunks because I don't know. I'm not a, I'm not a big fan of cutting things. Okay carrot in then we got the second carrot we're gonna give it the old the old wipe down okay all right carrot got it we're dicing and we're slicing you know when i was little i used to think i would like to be like that billy mays guy you know the oxyclean guy powered by the air you breathe and the water you drink it's oxyclean it it foams and it cleans everything and it's only water and air you know, but I, I never made it, guys. Maybe because I don't have a beard. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe I'm not, I don't have a good enough accent. But anyway, in another life, I might be a, a TV infomercial guy. All right, so celery back on. Chip, chip, chip. So I got, let's see what I got. I got this much celery. Uh, two walrus tusks worth. Okay, rinse it. Again, guys, quick rinse. That's it. I'm making a mess, by the way. There's water everywhere, but I don't care. It's so hot, I welcome it. Okay, celery, I'm just gonna cut chunks of it into the pot. Guys, I don't even know what I'm doing. This is looking like, I mean, don't get me wrong, it looks really good. But like, I don't know if this is a soup. I don't know if this is a stew. I don't know if this is just gonna be a bunch of cooked vegetables and meat. 
I mean, either way, it's going to be delicious. That's all I really care about. But it's definitely, it's definitely going to be interesting. By the way, this is the first time I'm making this. I have made steak before with the Montreal sauce. Focus. With the Montreal sauce, but I've never used the, the celery and the potatoes. I usually do rice. I'll do that in a recipe for that another time. But right now, I'm trying something new, guys. You got to try something new, especially when you live in a van. When you live in a van, life is all about trying new stuff. And today that includes instant pot concoction, might be a stew, might be a soup. It might just be cooked vegetables. I'm not sure what's gonna happen, guys, but we're gonna, it's gonna be tasty, okay? So we got it all in there. I'll tell you what, it looks like a whole lot of healthy. Let me show you guys what, what's going on here, okay? So look in that pot. We got the veggies, the carrots, the potatoes, size of my eyeglasses, celery, walrus tusk, okay? carrots and then at the very bottom guys that's where the meat's at check out the solar let's see if you can see it i don't know if you can read that guys but it's back up to 13.1 volts okay so and i'm getting i'm getting three amps of current so the sun's going down a little bit but i'm getting three amps so uh, it's all gonna be okay all right so that's it this thing's ready to go i'm gonna add some more water to it I, use, I have a measuring cup somewhere, but I have no idea where that's at. So I'm going to use this bowl, and I'm just going to hit it with some of my fresh water out of the five gallon. Hit it. And I put in what I believe to be about half a cup of water, maybe. We're just going to pour that in. And then I'm going to use the fork. I'm going to mix it up. You gotta mix it up guys i don't want all the meat to be stuck in the bottom be all weird i don't want weird meat okay so we got that all right so that's all in where's my salt at uh oh, man where's my salt my mom oh where is it my mom brought me this salt from france and it's super fancy and it's super tasty and it's supposed to be super healthy uh where is it i have too much stuff in here guys here it is i found it oh boy if any of you guys live in a van you can relate to the constant the constant shuffling around of the boxes right guys okay here it is here it is, salt from France. It's from like, it's from the ocean in France? Is France on the ocean? I don't know. Anyway, it's salt. I think it's sea, maybe it's sea salt. It's really coarse ground, um, but it's supposed to be like way better than all the salt they sell in America. Cause everything in America, you know, it's like, I don't know, it's all plastic. Okay, so I'm just gonna do like some pinches. I don't know how that works. I'm just gonna do like that. There's one pinch, there's two pinch. I'm gonna go three pinches, I don't care. Three pinches, okay, three pinches. That's the recipe, three pinches of coarse ground, salt from the sea of France. I don't think there's actually a sea in France. Have to have the France sea salt, okay? It's part of the recipe, guys. No cheating. Hey, look, I found my bigger knife. See that, it all works out. I'm using this next time. Okay, guys, here we go. So this is all loaded. I'm gonna put on some more of this teriyaki glaze just because, because I do what I want, guys. Don't forget. Don't forget, guys, at the end of the day, you do what you want, especially when you live in a van. You do what you want. I do what I want. Okay, so that's it. Ready to go. Where's the lid? Oh, uh, here it is. You're okay. There's a dog down there. I just, just kicked her. Sorry, dog. Okay, so got the lid. I'm going to wipe this off a little bit. It's got some, it's got some condensation on it from earlier. Okay, done. Okay, so here we are, instant pot lid. Gonna put that on. Okay, it's on. So usually I make this with rice and I cook it for 10 minutes. So I'm just gonna pretend that's rice in there even though it's not. And I'm gonna cook it for 10 minutes. Maybe less, I feel like less. I'm gonna go 
Turn off keep warm, hit pressure cook, make sure it's on high and normal. And I'm gonna go four, five, six, six, six. I'm gonna go six minutes, guys, because if the veggies are a little crispy, that's okay. The meat's already been sauteed, so the meat's not gonna like, it's not gonna be raw, so it doesn't really matter. And it's steak anyway, so even if it's a little undercooked, it's fine. Um, so that's it, six minutes. We're just gonna, I'm just winging it. We're just gonna try six minutes and uh, hope for the best. So that's it, six minutes. Solar's slowly ticking down, 12.2. Uh, hope it doesn't go below 12. That always makes me nervous. Uh, okay, 12.1, 12.2, I think we're good. It's been 20 minutes so far with this video. So I'm gonna stop it, let the iPhone take a break. And then when this thing's done, I'm gonna turn it on and I'm gonna show you guys how it turns out and we're gonna hope it turns out awesome. And even if it doesn't turn out awesome, we're still gonna eat it because we're living in a van down by the river. Okay guys, welcome back. Woo! <laughs> the Instant Pot just cut off. Uh, it feels like it took like probably five minutes to heat up and then I had it cooking for five minutes. So it feels like it was about 10 minutes or so. It's done. Um, it's got some pressure in it still. I'm gonna go ahead and try releasing that. Oh, that's gonna put so much humidity into my van. Woo, I can feel it. Clear up here, I can feel it. It's hot. It's hot. It smells good though. It smells really good. I wish you guys could like smell through the camera phone. Lucy smells it. This is my little piglet. This is Lucy. She gets to eat all the scraps of the delicious tasties. She appreciates it. She hangs out by my feet. In case anything drops, she eats it. So, but not much drops. I'm pretty good. All right, it's winding down, guys. It's almost done. I'm excited. I was thinking about it. I put in three pinches of that French salt. Um, I hope I didn't screw it up. That's a lot of salt. And I feel like that French salt is probably super concentrated. So fingers crossed, legs crossed right now. You can't see, but my legs are crossed and my fingers are crossed. And I'm hoping that it's not too salty. I have the fork. This is the moment of truth fork. Venting, venting, venting. By the way, the whole time I was cooking, my solar dipped. It, it For a minute, it dipped below 12.9. Uh, I'm sorry, below 12 to 11.9. Um, not for very long. It was fluctuating between 11.9 and 12 anyway. As soon as I turned it off, it, it jumped back up to 12.8. So right now it's at 12.8 volts, so it's fine. Battery's fine. It's a little scary when you see the dip below 12 volts, but just know it's all going to be fine. Okay, it's almost done. I can hear it. You have to wait on that instant pot for the pin to drop. I just heard it. Okay, this is it. Twist it. Ooh. Whoa. You gotta be careful, it'll drip a lot of water on you. Put that straight into the sink. You guys gotta see this. You guys gotta see this. I'm taking it off, okay. Check it out. You can see it's still boiling, right? But you can see the potatoes, the carrots, the meat. Let's see. Ooh. Look how easily that stabs in. Ooh, look at that. So potatoes are cooked, but they're not like mushy, which is good. I know the reason I didn't do 10 is because of the potatoes. I knew the potatoes would get mushy at 10 minutes. So the potatoes are moist. The celery, the celery looks like it still has some crunch to it. Okay, so this is gonna be the taste test. We got a celery piece. We got to test everything individually and just see if it's up to par, okay? Celery, I got a carrot piece, and I got a potato piece, ooh, ooh, yeah, flaky. Potato piece, piece of meat, piece of stew meat, okay. 
All right, I'm getting out of this hot kitchen. It's ridiculous. Ugh. Oh, yes. And the reason, ooh, that smells good, huh? Look at Lucy. She smells it. She's like, I want that. I want that meat. I picture Lucy to have a Southern accent. She's my Southern belle. Okay. All right, so normally I have a table set up. I did not set up a table today because I got to camp kind of late and I was hungry. I was hangry. I was like, Grr! I barely set up the awning. And then I was like, I got to get some food in me because low blood sugar monster is coming. So we'll go like that. So you guys can watch Lucy, watch me. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna try is the potato, the potato, the potato, the potato. Mm. Oh man, oh man, oh man, oh my God. That, that is like grandma's potatoes. I don't know if you have a grandma that makes potatoes, but if you do, that's what it tastes like. Delicious. And you can taste, you can taste like the teriyaki sauce in the potato, that glaze I just chug chugged on top. You can taste it in the potato and you can taste the salt, but it's not like a salty potato. Mmm. Oh, that was delicious. Okay. Holy cow. Oh man. Oh. I gotta give Lucy a taste. I feel bad. I feel guilty if I don't give her a piece. Cause she's 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 my she's my baby. Okay. Let's see if Lucy approves. Okay, Lucy loved it, pretty much a given. Okay, celery, so I'm hoping for a little crunchy on the outside, but not too crunchy, but also not mushy. Mmm, okay, yeah, so that's cool. It holds its shape, it holds its texture. When you bite into it, you can like feel the ridges of the celery, but it instantly just like collapses under the power of your jaws and it's tasty, it's not stringy. Most importantly though, it's not mushy. There's like a little pop when you bite into it. This is amazing, guys. I didn't even plan this. I just, I grabbed those ingredients at Safeway. I just chucked them in the pot. I guessed five minutes. Dude, Instant Pot, it just, it's magic. It just does whatever, it does what's right. It does what's right, okay. Carrot, this is the last piece. The same. Not overcooked, a little bit sweet. You can definitely taste the carrot but overall it still has that like that that Montreal steak seasoning to it because if you notice I didn't drain the meat water out so a lot of times when you're cooking on that you cook the meat you rinse it then you go fresh in with the water Uh, -uh. I want all the juices and the savoriness in the veggies okay so that was good last piece is the meat look at that pops right in now we got to check this out Oh, oh, dude, you guys don't even understand. Look at this. Look at that. It's so, it just flakes apart. Where's the camera at? <laughs> I don't even know where the camera's at. Anyway. Look at my dirty fingernail. That's how you know I'm living in a van. Mmm, so good. So good. Fantastic, guys. Fantastic. This is the official recipe. I love it. It's fantastic. It's done. That's it. We're done. And, whoa, there's an ant on my foot. Okay. And the best thing about it is you eat however much you want, and then you just throw it in the fridge. And then when you want more, you just take the whole, the whole instant pot part, you put it back in, put the lid on, and then you just steam it for like few seconds so I'll probably do a follow-up video and show you guys how to reheat but it's so easy and then you just eat out of the pot until it's empty and you're not dirtying a bunch of dishes you don't have to put it in Rubbermaid it's fantastic all right guys Nomad Brad signing off great success